Hello and welcome to our simple step-by-step -step guide on how to fit the correct parts needed to run a tail fin rack or aero pack when your bike is fitted with a new SRAM transmission drivetrain. SRAM's latest transmission mountain bike drivetrains that came out in 2023 require a new style of adapter in order for you to fit a tail fin axle. The fitting process is actually very simple, but it needs to be followed correctly in order for all of your parts to continue to work perfectly. It's also worth noting at this point that we actually produce two different adapters depending on which level of transmission you have on your bike. One for XX and XO transmissions and another for GX level. Now, they look almost identical, but unfortunately there are a few dimension differences, which means that the bad news is they are not interchangeable. The good news is the fitting process is exactly the same for both types of adapter. However, I'll still demonstrate fitting on both levels just so you can see the process, starting with a bike with the XX or XO transmission. To fit the Tailfin SRAM transmission adapter, it's important to follow these steps. Before you start, there are a couple of tools you need before you can get the job done. Number one, you need a hex key or Allen key. The adapter is set up for a 12mm hex. Most people don't have one of these, so an 8mm hex is ideal to have. Secondly, you'll need some grease. Finally, you need your tailfin axle and 5mm hex key in order to attach that axle. First step is to shift the chain into the red setup gear as per SRAM's instructions. There's a link to SRAM's setup video in the description below if you need any extra help for this. Then take your 8mm hex key and you're going to remove the inner bolt from the derailleur. When you start loosening this bolt, you might find the derailleur moves forward. So it's important to take the tension off the chain by pushing the cage forward and pressing the red button to hold it in place. That way then we've got it nice and loose. Now, when you remove this, the derailleur might move but it won't go anywhere. With the bolt removed, take your new tail fin adapter and apply grease to the outside of it and onto the threads. Spread this around the whole adapter, like so. Next, take your adapter if you've got a 12 mil hex key, then use that. But if not, this will come with an eight mil step down that presses inside and then allows you to run an eight mil hex key. What you need to do is make sure that the derailleur is in the correct location. Push the adapter in like so. Before you tighten up the adapter fully, you will need to set up the gears as per SRAM's instructions. As I said earlier, there's a link to SRAM setup install video in the description below. It's important to note that when you're tightening the adapter, it needs to be tightened to 35 Newton meters. When it's tightened properly, then you can release the derailleur and then remove the original axle. Once you've tightened the adapter up to the required 35 Newton meters, it's time to install your tail fin axle. Before you do so, if you've used the eight mm hex adapter, make sure you've taken that out and you've put that somewhere safe. Then take your tail fin axle, slide it through as you would do normally. Take your five mm hex key and tighten the axle. For fitting a tail fin adapter to a bike equipped with GX level transmission, simply follow the same procedure. So you'll need the same tools and the same parts as you did if you've got XX and XO. So that is your 8mm hex key, your grease, your tail fin axle and your 5mm. Start by ensuring that the chain is on the red setup gear as per SRAM's instructions. 
As I mentioned earlier, we've got a link to the video installation from SRAM in the description below. Then loosen the axle slightly, but still keep the axle in so everything is held in place. Take your eight millimeter and you're going to loosen the inner bolt from the derailleur. Now, when you start loosening it, the derailleur might move forward. So one of the things you can do to help this is to release the tension on the chain. So push the cage forward and press the red button to lock everything in place then loosen the bolt. Remove the bolt and let everything stay where it is. Take your tail fin adapter and apply grease to the outside making sure you get some on the thread as well. First thing you need to do is make sure everything is aligned. Like so. Place inside. The adapter is set up for a 12 mil hex key, but if you don't have a 12 mil hex key, like most of us don't, Take your 8mm step down adapter which came in the package, insert, and then you can use any 8mm to tighten. Before you tighten fully, you will now need to set up your gears as per SRAM's instructions. As I said earlier, there's a video in the description below from SRAM which shows you exactly how to set up your gears. Then you need to tighten the adapter to 35 Nm. Remove your hex key and put your gears back as they should be. Now you can attach your tail fin axle. So remove the original axle At this point, if you've used the 8mm spacer to actually tighten this, make sure you take it out. This can be a little bit tricky, but you should be able to get in behind and pull it out. Now take your tail fin axle, put the wheel back in place, and slide your axle through. Take your 5mm hex key and tighten the tail fin axle as standard. We designed the transmission adapter to work with a one millimeter thread pitch axle. Ideally, you use our universal through axle as this has an additional spacer which works with mountain bike boost rear spacing. I hope this video has helped you to understand how to fit our SRAM transmission adapters. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments section below and head to our website to find out more about our products or if you require further support.